Hello and welcome back to another brain exploding edition of Drone Tech Politics. When you think of military generals, what do you imagine they're doing all day? Strategizing plans to face our greatest foreign adversaries? Or encouraging Twitter users to report their neighbors for wrong think while melting down over the obvious blowback? Apparently our military and institutions aren't worried about Islamic terror or China anymore. They're worried about Americans, specifically Americans who disagree with them politically. We've seen several military generals lash out at Tucker Carlson, for example a journalist who is saying things they don't agree with. Combined with a concerted media drumbeat, they successfully incited multiple leftist nutjob attacks on Tucker and his family. Clearly sign of a healthy nation when your media and military leaders are targeting American citizens for exercising their constitutional rights. In this case, we have a two-star U.S. Army general who felt it was his duty to fearmonger about getting the vaccine, saying, quote, We've seen a spike in young trainees in the ICU, spike in trainees arriving positive and it moves quick in the formation to get ahead get the shot takes five weeks to build the immunity if you haven't done so do it right now delta variant ain't playing in response a marine veteran who also happened to graduate from hillsdale college responded to the general saying general in the fourth quarter of 2020 alone there were more than 26 more suicides than in the fourth quarter of 2019 there have been 26 COVID deaths total in the Department of Defense. The lockdowns, liberty restrictions, quarantines, and general disruption of service members' lives is a way bigger killer than the virus. He even provided a Department of Defense graphic proving his legitimate point. After all, the general put his opinion out there, so it's perfectly reasonable that people respond with theirs, right? Wrong. We're going to get right into the general's triggered response, but first take a moment to hear about this special offer for my viewers. Study Studies show that the adult body produces 10% less collagen every decade. If you're over 40, that should terrify you. Collagen is the glue that holds our bodies together. This is why I highly recommend healthwithdronetech.com. I've noticed that I look younger, have fewer wrinkles, and have more energy since taking my multi-collagen. My skin specifically looks and feels so much firmer. Learn more by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com. Furthermore, you'll get 51% off your first bottle if you order today, plus a 60-day money-back guarantee. First, he says, your false equivalency of suicide compared to the virus doesn't hold up. Why don't you compare auto accidents while you're at it? Your apparent aversion to the vaccine is wrongheaded. It's the way to normalcy while saving lives. In 1980, people prayed for the vaccine. Okay, how doesn't it hold up? Well, he doesn't mention. He just declares that it doesn't which by the way is a common tactic used by the Democrat state media. Then he makes an actual comparison that doesn't hold up, asking why he doesn't compare car accidents. Obviously, one is an accident, one isn't. One is a direct result of the overreaction to COVID. The other is a completely unrelated accident. The Marine vet responds again, stating the obvious, suicide is an intentional act. Car accidents are not. When policy treats healthy soldiers as biological hazards, we shouldn't be surprised by an increase in suicide and psychological problems. Again, this seems like a completely reasonable factor to raise. That's when this general, who should be working on winning our next war, but is instead berating Marine vets on Twitter for daring to question his claims, lashes out saying, quote, Hey Hillsdale, come get your boy. Come get your boy? So now we have this highly paid, powerful military leader talking like a thug on the playground. These posts were made during the day. Is this what he does with our taxpayer dollars? But it doesn't stop there, unfortunately. He continues to embarrass himself, the uniform, and the country by responding to another Twitter user who hilariously asks him, how many wars have you won? Patrick Donahoe responds, quote, don't be a shill for Putin. <laughs> Now I know this guy is on a steady diet of CNN and MSNBC. If Putin is such a threat, why isn't he focused on that instead of this idiotic shit? I'm reminded of this quote from Trump as reported by CNN. This special little snowflake wasn't finished though. His wrath wasn't satisfied and he tweeted out that people should quote, block and report the trolls and disinformation tinfoil hat team. Think about that though. A two-star general, a particularly powerful one, telling people to report others for what is essentially wrong think. 
I talk a lot about Democrats eventually wanting to criminalize and even imprison their political opposition in mass. If they were ever able to pull that off, guys like this would be doing the job. Hell, he seems like he's trying out for that position or maybe a gig on CNN. There's been no comment yet from the US Army Chief of Public Affairs and likely nothing will happen to this guy. He'll probably even get a promotion because as Representative Jim Banks says, sadly, the current Pentagon leadership models this behavior rather than deterring it among the ranks. Miley et al have done more to disintegrate the apolitical ethos of the military than any general officer leaders in history that I can think of. All right, I'm done with this one. Just wanted to let you all know about yet another military general that has apparently succumbed to extremist left-wing ideology. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.